Welcome back to the Deep Digger Sports Pod. It's your host, Drew, my other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. I'm pretty hyped. It is week two of NFL action. Uh, before we get into all of the this good stuff, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and drop some comments. This is a homegrown pod, so we are doing this all on our own, and we'd really appreciate it because it does help us. Uh, this week, the 49ers take on the Los Angeles Rams at SoFi. Yeah, and you're going to want to subscribe because last week we won our diamond pick bet, and we're giving you the best 49ers bets every week, and we're going to keep it rolling. We are up two and a half units on the season thus far, so we plan on keeping this rolling. I'm pretty hyped about it. Uh, let's just get the overview of the, the matchup so far. Uh, the books have it as a big 49ers win. The spread as of right now is minus seven. The money line for the 49ers, so straight up, if you just think the 49ers are going to win, is minus 349. So they are the heavy favorites moving into this game. The over under is 45 and a half. Let's go ahead and pause there. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, everyone's thinking this is going to be a 49ers blowout. Uh, I don't think we think differently, but I mean, you never know. Uh, Stafford come throw 400, 500 yards again and uh, get a last second touchdown and really cut down that deficit. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, Sean McVay beat Seattle last week. So I, I'm not saying that I believe they're not going to cover, but it's not a guarantee. You know, it's not a lock. We can look at some other stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think this is a good Rams team. I think that it's more an indictment on the Seattle Seahawks. They just couldn't get anything going on offense that second half of the that game. And I think that Seattle is going to have a, a real uh, come back to earth season where everyone was thinking that they were going to look good. They were going to roll into the playoffs. They were going to give the 49ers a real run for their money at the division. I think it's it's not going to be that way. I, I just don't see a lot of talent on this Rams team. Do you? It's a weird opposite thing where the Rams are now – have a talent deficiency where yeah. they don't have a lot of high level guys and the Seahawks have so many talented players and they just looked bad and the Rams look good. So <laughs> I don't know where that's going to even out by the end of the season, but definitely this Rams team is not, it's a team built on superstars and they don't have that many superstars anymore. So we'll see. Yeah, man, and this falls like perfectly into my betting strategy, which is a pretty simple strategy, realistically. It's pick good teams to beat bad teams. And, uh, you know, you move forward from there. Last week, again, I felt a little uncomfortable. I even said it on camera. Hey, I don't know about this 49ers team going against this Steelers team. 49ers do get off to slow starts, and, uh, some, and the Steelers do have a lot of momentum heading out of preseason. Of course, all we can do is really go off of, you know, historics and historically the 49ers have beat the Rams, you know, time and time again during the Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay era. I expect that to happen again this week for the odds. I think that's a lot of points, especially in a divisional matchup. So I think we're going to stay away from the spread. Yeah. So let's get into some of these props. I mean, last week we hit big. We hit huge with the uh, Chris McCaffrey over yards. Oh. For some hmm. reason last week, Vegas didn't think that McCaffrey was going to run. They had like plus 120 on getting 47 rushing yards. And so we hammered the, what, did we hit 67 rushing 67, yards? 67, yep. Yeah, so we hit a big. And he almost hit almost that. yards more than that. So. Yeah, so this week now, uh, riding that McCaffrey wave, uh, McCaffrey wave is going to be hard. Because now Vegas has uh, some pretty terrible odds on putting his rushing yards, so. Uh, even then, it's not too bad. Uh, his over under right now on rushing yards is 68 and a half. It is minus 122. Uh, Brock Purdy surprisingly has an over under of six and a half. And we've seen that he is sneaky. He will scramble. He will get some yards. That might be a play there. That's definitely a play. Uh, I mean, if, if you want to just bet Brock Purdy over on rushing yards every week, I'd be cool with that because – uh, I, I, I guaranteed it last week, uh, outside of this, uh, video, but I hit on that bet. So thanks, <laughs> thanks Brock Purdy. out there. Uh, yeah. And so Brock Purdy's, uh, passing yards 
His over-under is actually higher than Matthew Stafford's, which I'm a little surprised by, just considering the Rams are so one-dimensional. They could not get a run game going last week, and Matthew Stafford was just forced to stand back there and chuck it. So Brock Purdy is at 236.5, and and, uh, Matthew Stafford is 225.5. What does that tell you? I mean, Vegas thinks this is going to be a blowout. They think Brock Purdy is going to throw. There's going to be some crazy um, run at some yak, a lot of yak yards. Um, But we've seen last week in a blowout dominant game, we're not throwing it like crazy. Um, So I don't I don't see how we could hit that 236. Uh, That's a lot of yards for Purdy. Well, especially considering if it's not a competitive game, Kyle Shanahan's bread and butter is going to be running the rock. And uh, it might be a big Christian McCaffrey today, or, you know, maybe Kyle ends up being like, hey, uh, water bug, get out there. <laughs> Elijah Mitchell rolls out, you know? Well, what are, what are we seeing receiving-wise or rushing-wise this week? Well, we, we covered rushing. Let's go to receiving. Yeah, so one that really does pique my interest is Debo Samuel. His over-under is 47 and a half yards, and we know that he just kills the Rams. I feel like this is a really good Debo Samuel week. Uh, George Kittle as well. His over under is 40 and a half. I feel like that's the same. Like, I feel like now Brandon Ayuk is going to get a lot of attention just because of what he did last week. We see there's obviously a connection between him and Brock Purdy. His over under is 60 and a half yards. I think we might see Debo Samuel and George Kittle start to step up and be like, hey, I'm right here. Go ahead and give me the rock. Yeah, I'd fully expect Kyle to start sharing the rock. Um, but we'll. I think this will be another game where we see, is Brandon Ayuk just going to be that dominant number one receiver now? Is he going to be the guy who, no matter what the matchup, is getting 60, 70, 80 yards and a touchdown? So that's going to be cool to see. Um, or if Debo is going to step back up and be like, nah, I'm the, I'm the top dog here still. So I, I have a good feeling about Kittle and Debo this game. Yeah, and so taking it down to defense, we see oh, the uh, defensive line for the 49ers looked amazing. Drake Jackson had three sacks by himself last week. Uh, I think that this is going to be a Nick Bosa game. I think that he is going to get at least one sack, and if he does, his over-under obviously is half a sack. That is the over is minus 114 odds. Cleveland Farrell has the highest over under or the highest uh, odds at plus 215 for a Cleveland Farrell sack. Yeah. I mean, if, if we were to bet our like just bet on all of the defensive linemen just over uh, half a sack, I think we're going to win more money than not, right? I think yeah, the Rams are going to throw a lot. Cam Akers sucks. Um their run game sucks. So uh, definitely, I think you could close your eyes, pick a D lineman on the 49ers, and maybe they'll get a sack this week. I, but I'll, I will take give a little peek behind the curtain. We both hopped on here and said, uh, Nick Bosa is getting a sack this week, right? So yeah. that, that's kind of where we stand. Nick Bosa is definitely going to get a sack. Week two, he's going to be uh, have more snaps than last week. He's going to be ready to go, and he's going to be motivated. He wants to, he wants to come out and show out. Yeah, and they're – Again, we just seen the Rams are going to throw the ball. Like we know that they're going to have more opportunity to just get after the quarterback. And Matthew Stafford's kind of a statue. So, yeah. feel pretty good about it. Yeah. Uh getting into some parlays. So, taking a look at a couple uh if you feel like this is going to be a Brock Purdy day, Brock Purdy to have at least 250 passing yards in San Francisco to win is plus 142. Christian McCaffrey to have 85 yards rushing and the 49ers to win plus 147. Not bad. And not let bad. me see here. And this is the one we were talking about. George Kittle to have at least one touchdown and the 49ers to win plus 220. Yeah, absolutely love that bet. I would hammer that bet all day. I think Kittle's always a threat to score with Purdy on the field. And we're definitely going to win. So I would, if you think we're going to win, which is basically 90% of the world right now thinks the Niners are going to win, why not parlay parlay that and get some a little more bang for your buck instead of just going straight up, you know? 
I mean, we could just go hungry dog and uh, just take the Rams to win outright. <laughs> when everyone's zigging, you got to zag, you know? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to lose my money this week. <laughs> no, I think I think we got the diamond pick ready to go. All right, let's lock it in. Let's let's get it. All right, so this week's diamond pick of the week is going to be Nick Bosa over half a sack. So we're going to lock in two units on that. We are also going to drop a unit on that George Kittle parlay. George Kittle to have one touchdown and San Francisco to win. Go ahead and lock it in. That's the diamond pick of the week. Yep. Let's start on a win streak just like the Niners. Let's go 2-0. and yep, and make Let's sure get up. You follow, you subscribe, you like, because every week we're giving you this best bet where we're going to go through it and we're going to get the we're going to find the diamond in the sports book yep so appreciate you later see ya